Hey friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about data augmentation and how you can apply it to your own semantic segmentation data set. Data augmentation is a process that enables you to increase the amount of training data by making some reasonable modification or transformation in your existing or the original data. So you have your original data, you have some transformation and using these those transformation, you create the augmented data. Some of the transformation are like flipping, cropping, rotation, scaling, adding some noise. So these are some of the most common data augmentation techniques. Let's move on to this code. First of all, we are going to import or li our libraries you are going to use the os cv2 that is open cv for reading resizing and saving the images tkdm that is the progress bar globe find all the path matching a specified pattern so in the globe we have to extract all the path of our images in the mask and the last is this albumentation this is the library for applying data augmentation from this library we have extracted five transformation function that is center crop random rotate 90 grid distortion horizontal flip and this vertical flip Okay, see this vertical flip. So we're going to use these five transformation function to create new augmented images. Using these five transformation function, we can increase the size of the original data set five times. And the data set here we are going to use is the polyp segmentation data set. I have already created a video on polyp segmentation. Click the i button or check the description for that video. So now let's start with the code. First of all, we are going to write a function. It's going to give us a list of images and masks. Let's name it load data. And you take path as the variable images are equal to let's create a path first os dot path dot join okay first is the path this is cvc612 and inside it we have images and mask folder to extract images and to write images in slash star so star basically refer to all the images inside the images folder we use globe so now we have a list of all the images and after that we can sort that list and like this we are going to create list of masks just replacing images term with a mask so now we have images and mask and both of them are sorted so to return these images less masks okay images comma mask is equals to load data giving it path variable so now let's check the length of the original data or oh, should be print not product original images okay it should be an f string length images okay now original masks length masks okay so these are this will give us the length of the original images and mask list let's run this okay, it should be data okay you can see the original images are 612 and the original mask are 612 we are going to create a function that is going to create a directory if it doesn't exist so we are going to name it create dir giving it a path so if that path does not exist create the directories ok now this function is complete now we will create some directories for saving our augmented image and mask new data slash images so inside this images folder we are going to save our augmented images create dir new data slash masks so inside mask we are going to save our augmented masks next we are going to create a function name augment data it takes the images a list of path of images and a list of path of mask and save path save path is basically the new data we are going to save our augmented images in mask and a variable called argument which is by default set to true so this means that if argument is set to true we want to apply augmentation if it's set to false then we don't want to apply data augmentation what we just want is to resize the original image and save them in the new directory just that so let's call this function below and first of all we're going to set it to false first we're going to set the height for our images in mask which is going to be 256 by 256 next we are going to loop over these images and mask direct list now we are going to use our tqdm that is progress bar total is equals to length images ok now we are going to print the the path the x and y to check ok 
okay the save path is not specified okay that's a mistake here so let's specify the save path that is new data okay so now i can see the image path and the mask path so what we're going to do here is extract this name and this extension from the image and same for the mask okay let's do this so name is going to be x dot split dot split on the base of slash let's print this now and see the list okay sound in list is a created and at the last of the list we have our name with extension we're going to specify minus one as our name and extension is the last now again we're going to split this on the base of that dot which is between the image name and the mask and print the name now again list at the list at the index zero we have the name and at the index one we have the extension so now we can save the image name and extension image name is equal to name zero image extension extn is equal to name one and we are going to do same for the mask instead of x we are going to specify y here so mask name is equal to name zero mask extension extn is equal to name one okay so now we have image name image extension mask name and mask extension next we are going to read the image in the mask as an rgb image x is equal to cv2 dot i am read x okay next we will read the mask using the same line just replacing variable x with the y okay so now we have read our image of the mask let's print this shape to check if there is any problem or not let's run it again you can see the shape is 256 by 256 by 3 and for the mask it's 256 by 256 by 3 let's comment this line out next if the argument is true okay it's true then we're going to pass it for now now we're going to write the code for the else condition if argument is not true then what we're going to do is we are going to save the original image in the mask so let's create a list save images is equals to x save masks is equals to y so x here refer to the original image and y here refers to the original mask and in case of uh, uh, augmented one we will add more augmented image like x1 x2 here but when our augmentation is off we are going to only save the original image and the mask now we are going to loop over these save image and save mask list so for i refer to image m for mask in zip save image comma and save mask next we are going to resize our images and mask so i is equals to cv2 dot resize i the width comma height same we are going to do for the mask m is equal to cv2 dot resize m width comma height okay after that we have to give it some name to this saved images and masks so tmp okay img name and so that every image have a unique name we are going to write a create a variable idx so it's going to be an f string image name idx dot image extension okay same for the mask tmp msk name f string mask name underscore idx dot mask extension okay so now we have our the name name for the image and mask now we we'll create the path image path is equals to was dot path dot join the save path okay the images folder and the name tmp img name and same for the mask path
Okay, so now we have an image path and mask path ready. Now we can save the images. Save it to I am right. Image path and the image. mask path and the m okay so now we have written the code when the augmentation is set to be false so let's run this code okay so no error we can check the directory okay a new new data folder is created inside that way images and mask folder and inside image we have our original image okay and like this inside the mask folder we have the mask okay this is a black and white mask if we set this argument to true this means we want to apply argumentation so this is the main part of the code where we want to apply argumentation so what we can do so we have already imported our transformation function that is center crop random rotate okay first we will apply the center crop ug is equal to center crop we take height let's say 128 width 128 and a variable p so p is the probability of applying this transformation argumented is equals to aug here we specify the image and the mask so image is equals to x and mask is equals to y okay so augmented is a dictionary here so new image is going to be x1 is equals to augmented image y1 for the mask is equals to augmented mask okay now I'm going to copy these save images and save mask list and add our augmented image and augmented mask. Let's save the program and run it again. Okay. Okay, let's reload it. Now you can see we have two images. First is the original image and second is the center crop part of it. So it has extracted a 128 by 128 center part of this image and resize it to 256 by 256. So you can see now two different images. You can set the size of center crop accordingly. And like this, two masks are also a created. Let us reload this again. So you can see two masks are there. First is original, second is the center crop. Let's delete this folder. Now we can apply the rest of the four argumentation like this. So just I'm copying this function again. In the center crop, we can specify random rotate 90, okay. and it only take the p. And instead of x1, we can say x2 and y2, and let's add them to the list. Okay. Next, we can apply the grid distortion transformation function so grid distortion okay let's rename x2 to x3 and again adding them to the list okay. next two more functions remaining the horizontal flip and the vertical flip x4 and y4 now it's time for vertical flip Change its name to x5 and y5. Now let's add these to our list x4, x5. Okay. y4, y5. Okay. So now we are going to run this program and check the folders. Let's do one more thing. Let's also check this image size of the images. Also, let's do this, and the path is going to be the here save path. So now we're going to load the images and mask from the save path. And these are augmented images and the augmented mask, augmented mask. So let's run this. Okay. As we have run this loop only one time, we have specified a break here, break state, break the loop. So we have six, six augmented images and six masks. One is the original and five are the augmented. So let's check. So you can see 
first original second center crop next we can check the masks so same transformation apply to the mask so now we are going to apply it to the whole data set removing this break state break statement from here and let's run this code completely here you can see the progress bar working so that's how the progress bar help it shows us how many time is left for the loop to complete now you can see the original image size is 612 and the augmented is 3672 so you can see it's increased nearly six times i believe five is the augmented one and plus one the original so we have increases the data set by six times i hope i was able to give you some new information and if i did then grab the subscribe button till then have a good day